Great. So it's really great to have you with us today um, and to just find out a little bit more about your company, um, the reasons why you decided to go with Splinks. Um, but first of all, let's start with a quick overview of Crisp Wireless. Right. So basically, Crisp Wireless um, started in 2016 and we um, were just trying to fix the digital divide between Metro and regional WA. Um, and that was really where we first started up from and um, and how we, we got into the business. Okay, great. That's that's really great. There's a massive digital divide, so that's excellent. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so your company's been in business since 2016? Yes. Yep, okay. we first started, I think, we, uh, that's when we first started building the first network and which we turned the first one on in about May 17, I think. Okay. was the first um the first service we started providing. Okay, excellent. Um how many people are in your team? Uh currently there's four uh, about nine of us. Okay, great. Yeah. Um yeah. Still could quite you tell small. Yeah, no, but that's great. That's um how Splinks um can make your business work a little bit smarter and faster, I hope. <laughs> Yes, no, it has done that for sure. Excellent. And um, what could you tell us a little bit about the processes before you started using Splinks? So when we first started up, we we're actually under contract under another uh, telco, and we uh, we cut ties in about roughly March eighteen, and that's when we started using Splinks. Um, it was advised to us one of our network engineers we use, and. Um, and realistically, we haven't looked back since. It's a fantastic system and it'd be great. I don't think we're using it at 50% of its capacity yet, but it's um, we're using more and more of it all the time. Oh, that's great. So um, you mentioned that um, somebody in networking told you about Splinks. Is that how you heard about Splinks? Yeah, yeah. A network engineer that was helping us um, uh, set up a new network, which we were building at the time, um, he'd heard about Splinks and said, this is the guys you want to use. And so we took his advice and, and went with it. Okay, great. And you haven't looked back. That's excellent. <laughs> no, no, no. It's been fantastic. <laughs> okay, great. Um, okay. And then costs involved before you, you moved to Splinks. What were the costs? Um... I don't know the actual – I don't remember more than anything probably. The actual uh, – Physical cost because there was a there was a whole lot of entwined. Um, they ran a knock service for us, which okay. was at a cost, and then we got um, and they ran everything basically. We were we were almost um, we just got given our, our figures back again um, once they they did their work and took their out. So I don't I've told me I don't know. I've never looked into it again. Okay. I've probably preferred not to look back that far. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it was quite a while ago. But I do – it's one of the things I do like about Splinks is the fact that um, it wasn't a big upfront cost and it and it was able – we were able to grow with it and the cost grew as we grew, which was great. Mm. So it's not a um, – paying a lot of money for 1,000 customers. Um, we could grow 100 by 100, which was great, and that, mm. worked, that worked well with our businesses. We're growing it. Okay, so you like the scaling um, option within Splinks? It's fantastic, and it's really it's probably what's made the big difference for us mm. in um, in being able to utilize and afford it. Okay, that's excellent. That's great to hear. And um, and then I know I'm looking back now, but it's important for us to ch try and have a look at what you were using before. And um, so, in terms of the previous um, systems that you had, what were there major pains or challenges that you faced using the other system? Part of the issues we had was we didn't have control of it. Mm. So we had access to parts of it um, and it was a very clunky system in the sense of uh, the CRM side of it um, from a leads perspective, then being able to turn them to customers was, was quite chunk clunky. Um, mm. We didn't, I mean, that we, were still, we were still growing as a business. We literally started with, with nothing. So in that first four months, we, we were only talking 20 or 30 customers. So for us, the moment we changed, was reasonably easy 
but it's certainly um, and we were like I said, we we're still a very small business of only two or three. So yeah. it gave us the ability to straight away we had a we had a good CRM system we could be working through, um, as well as managing our systems. Okay, great. That that does make a lot of sense, and it probably was mm. the right time for you to move across when you were smaller it, to get this. It was yeah. yes. Mm. Yeah. Okay, great. No, that's fine. Um, did you have any concerns when you were considering Splinks, like moving over? Did you have major concerns? No, we didn't. Primarily because we had to find something in a hurry. When we actually the other the other parent company, it was cut ties very quickly, like over a weekend. Oh wow! So we had to find something to actually to run our business very quickly. Sure. And and this network engineer we had at the time said, "This is a." A great program. I'll set it up, and he basically did it in a couple of days. It was great. Then we were off and running. Wow! So you actually had no time to to do any comparatives with other software. You just went with Splinks. No, we went with that, and and I I still have I've never done any comparison because it's just I think we've got we've got we understand Splinks enough now mm. that I just can't see a lot of point in moving. Mm. Don't break it. If, don't break it if it's fixed. I mean, let's, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes, yes. Don't fix it. It's not broken. Mm. Exactly. It's working. So that's yes. great. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Now that's that's really really great to hear. Um. So so we don't need to go into the reasons you decided to go with Splinks. It was make or break. You had a weekend and you had to get up and yep. running as soon as possible. <laughs> we did. That's right. Okay. That's. That's really great. You did mention that you're only using around 50% of Splinks. Could you tell me the modules that you are using at the moment? Well, so we're using the um, the custom module from the from a leads to a um, uh, to the customers. We're using tickets, probably not to its full potential okay. um, yet, um, because we're still such a small business. The process of actually sending tickets to different people then and working with it it's still all internal with us mm. um we're using the tasks a lot more now than we were using um and the scheduling for scheduling in new connections and stuff um it's probably more of the uh a bit more of the networking side of things we probably haven't i'm keen to look more into but okay. it's just time um and that's probably more about around the monitoring of our CPEs, the monitoring of our network. We've got another system that monitors all that now. So okay. it's really that that we've got to sort of we haven't got into it yet. We've only just we've only just turned on the finance module in the last what month are we now? August. So we start of June, we put turned the finance finance module on. And that's been a it's it's been an interesting process. Yeah. Um and we knew there'd be we knew we'd have uh issues to deal with, but um, I think we've got a very good system now that the, uh, the the support guys have been fantastic in. We can flick an email off and we get a response mm. that afternoon to say, this is this tick box isn't ticked right or this mm. setting's not right and we can change it and we can move on. But it's just that alone has saved about three different, three different um, uh, inputs into three different programs for the same information. And that, mm. to me, takes out a human error. Exactly. And that's what yes. I believe the, the biggest thing is. Yes, mm. absolutely. The more systems you have, the more things you have to maintain and the more room for, for error, exactly. Yes, that's right. Okay. And that's what this is now This is now relieved that, which has been great. Yeah. So the nice thing also is once you've got the billing integrated, then you can make use of the um, auto disconnecting, you know, the blocking and all of that kind of stuff yes. as well. Yes, yep, yep. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's great. That's right, and that, that once again, that actually then takes that time and uh, of my the labour time. All of mm. a sudden, it's a lot more, a lot more automation. Mm. It's making our systems run a lot better. Mm. Excellent. Um, okay, then you mentioned you have about nine um, in your business. Which departments are making use of Splinks on a daily basis? Uh, I've got. Two staff members in the office, which are using it basically from a from a sales perspective, the front and then the support, mm -hmm. and using it all day every day. Uh, the account side of it um, probably don't use it as much because now the information is just feeding straight out of Splinks into Zero. That side of it runs smoothly. Um, the guys in the field are using it from a scheduling perspective and and what jobs they've got coming up. Okay. Um, so from a task week, so so we're all using it in different ways. 
Okay, that's excellent. Mm. Really, really glad to hear that. that that's nice. Um, okay, so are you able to measure any reduced costs by using Splinks now? It's probably the, the biggest reduced cost we're going to see is this finance module once we get it. So our systems were um, originally set up that uh, we invoice our customers once a month. Mm. And it was always at the end of the month to be paid at the start of the following month. Now, since going across the finance module, we've actually changed that to when they're installed. Okay. That's when they'll start. That'll be their anniversary date. Yes. So so we've, the first, last couple of months has actually been, because we've only just started the finance module, that's only been every month, end of every month, we actually see a bit of a, a, bit of a saving in time. But there's certainly a saving in time in the sense of um, a new customer would be, you enter into splints, you'd go into into zero, which is the finance side of it, and then you'd enter into um, PayRix, which was the the payment system. So all of a sudden, we're into it once now, and that's entered as a lead. So mm. it's just pressing a button that's now a customer and convert. Yes, up. perfect. Yeah, so that that time saving alone to me, in the, it's hard to quantify mm. for me, but I do know that I'm getting more work done with the office staff where they were before doing these processes. Okay. So, yes, an improvement in productivity as well. That's really great. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And moving over to Splinks in terms of actually deploying the system, how did you find that? Deploying originally was I didn't know anything else. So it was actually for me it was just learning the system and, and understanding it. Mm. Um, but from a process of rolling over – turning on new modules, I suppose, and starting to use the finance module and understanding that we're still, we're not, I'm not using it from my perspective probably as much as I should be yet. Mm. And it's probably more about from a finance perspective, once I get a bit of history in there, I can then start drawing out reports out of there that are actually useful to me from mm. a management perspective. Um, but I've, I've found the, the information is really good. And certainly early on, the... Um, your documentation that we can access to actually read is is very. I like pictures, so it's actually good to see when they they show you a screen. This is what you this, and this is what all the bits of screen mean. So mm. it's actually very easy to follow the flow, and mm. understand how things work. Okay, so the deployment mm. process with the videos and the the documentation, the knowledge base, you found helpful. Oh, absolutely. Um, okay. When I first set up to be able to send texts from Splints. Um, it was a weekend spent reading the documentation and going through the process and actually making it work. Okay, excellent. That's really great mm. to hear. That's excellent. Um, okay, you have kind of briefly touched on your interactions with support, but in general, could you let me know how you found the process of working with Splints in general? Uh, look, in I, I think it's a fantastic program, and I don't have any, I don't have any issues with the system at all, and and the, and the support and the, it's just not something you, um, so for I reckon for the first three or four years, I might mm. have used support once or twice, it, the actual the ability to actually go and read, what I needed to know to teach myself, was great, mm. um, the finance module has probably been the biggest thing. From a from a perspective of getting that support, but the support's been fantastic. Um, oh, that's excellent. To the point where the the girls in the office now are actually sending through tickets and getting responses, and and they're learning as well as I'm learning. So that's the bit mm. that I like about it. It's not, I suppose, getting someone to go in and and fix something, and not know what they've done or how they've done it. Is some one thing. I think Splinks does the opposite. It teaches you how it works. It teaches you how to understand and how to manage their own, your own system. Mm. So you're not you're not relying on support all the time to do something. Yes, that's exactly mm. it. Yes, actually, and, equipping and you. Yes, that's right. They're actually teaching us and equipping us to be able to do it again, mm. or understanding how the system works, how the flow works, so that when something else might be slightly different, you go, oh, "That's how that works." Maybe this works the same way, and and it just makes it makes uh, us as customers better mm. equipped to actually use it. Yes, that's mm. great. I like that. 
I, I like that a lot. And I think yeah. that is it's it's supposed to be a um, self driven thing where you've got a lot of control in your environment. Yes. Um, yeah. That's that's important. Great. Um, so in terms of measuring the value that Splinks provides, you have touched on that. Um, productivity, you've mentioned, um, you know, the the more you've got more time available to you now, um, the the reduced time that it takes you. Is there any other comments you want to say about Some that? of the other things, yeah, I mean, Splinks, one thing we have, have picked up is the ability, because we use microtick routers, mm. CPEs for the customers, um, the, the integration that works so well with Splinks, but to the point where from a um, from a past our customer support point of view, the ability to go in and see if that CPE is online, the ability to go in and change a password to look what the Wi-Fi is to see if that's working has really it alleviates our time for the person answering the phone call to ring a technician to see if they can log in and see what's wrong. We yeah. can do all that troubleshooting ourselves before we have to go that far. Yeah, that's fantastic. And that's really, yeah, that integration with Microtix is really good. Okay, that's excellent. Mm. Okay. Um, then another question. Do you have any overall um, feedback or advice for, for us as a company for Splinks? No, the only thing we actually, and we haven't logged into again for a while, we tried it early on, is the, um, is the scheduler app mm. on the phone. Okay. It's probably something that we actually um, it was a bit clunky early and mm. it wasn't and didn't work so well. And now, like I said, I haven't I haven't logged back in. I don't know if the technicians actually use that or they just use the computer to okay. log in. I, I think they just use the computer now to log in rather than actually using the app on the phone. Mm. But that's probably something that, um, from an installing perspective, the the bones were there, but it was just a bit clunky and it wasn't didn't always work and it used to crash regularly, so we stopped using it. Mm. Yeah, and that's quite an integral mm. part of your business, especially with onboarding yeah. new, new customers, yes. We yeah. are actually yeah. doing a lot of work on the scheduling app at the moment, you'll be happy to know. So um, right. when you get a gap, maybe you can you can check it out um, again. Yeah. All right. Um, yep. And then, so you have mentioned the scheduling app being a little bit of a, an issue, the clunkiness and, and what have you. Um, but is there anything else in the product that you'd like to see improved or changed or any suggestions? Oh, now you've got this spot. There's probably a couple of things we've actually we've gone back. I've actually put a couple of things on the on the forum in the past. Okay. To actually look at look at updates, and they've actually they've actually done a couple of them. I just don't know where they were off the top of my head. But the um, there's some things that we probably come through the finance module, which um, I think the girls have got it sorted now. But one of the things was actually making sure payments go to the older. The oldest invoices first, because oh, at one yes. point in time it was actually going to the newest invoice, and then the oldest invoice still showing as outstanding when it was actually paid. And mm. there's probably some little things through that finance module which the girls have actually wanted some changes to. Um, and some of the questions we've gone back with them, we've had a response that developers are working on it, so that's right. Okay. Um, but it's um, I can't think of anything specific off the top of my head at the moment. But there's um, we have we do feed that information back when we think okay. of it. That's great. Please do. Please continue doing that because often we'll find um, one operator will have um, a suggestion or an issue. And um, when we look out there, quite a few of our operators will be experiencing the same um, issues. So it's always helpful. We do value that feedback very much. Yeah. And one of the things at the moment, which I know there, I don't know how they're looking at, is that we've actually just, we're going through the process of making some changes to our plans, our tariffs yeah. plans, and, um, we can't change a a um a data cap to unlimited. It's just what whatever's in there now, once you actually put a customer to it, you can't change that in the back end of the yes. tariff. Yes. Um and I know, I know the other, we got the guys to actually do something in the back end last week to change it for us. So that's probably one thing that'd be quite handy to be able to do is to be able to change those those um those data caps. Yeah, so um, even if they're the assigned to a customer, you can still yeah. change them. Yeah, you can okay, still change them. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, that that's great. Um, Lee, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I don't know if you have anything else you want to you want to say at this stage. No, I think that's um I'll actually flick you an email with some uh the girls in the office have written some stuff up for me as well. Okay. Which I'll um 
they've sort of an, they've answered a bit of the questions like some of the other um, uh, other users have done on your website you sent through. Yes. Um, but no, I know that um, certainly we couldn't do without it, and I don't know. I don't like. I don't know if there's other system out there that's anything like it in the sense of mm. what. Assuming we are playing at the moment, Whalebone. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, we're we're playing with it. We're just. Um, I've got to see. I've got to try and pin my uh, network engineer down, Dave, to actually. Yes. To just get some um, some questions from him. Mm. Mm. Yeah. No, that's yeah. fine. Um, I will follow up on that, but that's kind of separate to to Splinks. I mean, yes, we do yep. provide the add-on, but um, I just was wondering how that's going. But I do know it's like you were saying with the networking, there's stuff within Splinks that you want to still look at, but um, time yep. is of the essence, and there's not enough of that, you know. <laughs> so we no, do understand. No, never that. is. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, yep. yeah. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it, Lee. It was nice to chat um, face-to-face, even though it's through the cyber, <laughs> cyber <laughs> means. It was good yep. to meet you. Awesome. No, Have a lovely too. rest of your evening. Right. Thanks. I will do. Thanks, Heather. Okay. Bye. Bye.